Hey guys, it's Justin from LitTube, and this is another one of my face-to-face -face videos focusing on a restaurant review for the Chart House, which is a seafood restaurant on the water in Annapolis, Maryland. And I want to talk about, you know, not just the food of the restaurant, but also the fact that, you know, when this restaurant first came on the scene, uh, the environment was a lot different, and they recently remodeled the restaurant. I'm going to talk about that as well. So I'm continuing my coverage of Maryland's restaurants as part of my face-to-face -face series. And let's get right into it. So guys, Chart House is actually a chain restaurant with 26 locations around the country. I am familiar with the Annapolis location. That's the location I've always gone to. And, I mean, from the outside, the restaurant looks great. It's right on the water in downtown Annapolis. You can't beat the location. You walk right up the dock uh, next to the bay to get into the restaurant. Uh, this is what the restaurant looks like now, um, now that they have remodeled the restaurant. You can see the interior is very dark. It's like, uh, it's still wooden, but they painted it black. So, like, it's a very dark interior. Um, part of the reason they remodeled it was so they get the bar in the middle of the restaurant and get the seating more where you see the uh, great big glass windows there. They wanted to get the, the seating uh, more near those windows. The problem is, though, number one, I don't like the color now because now it's all, it's all dark. It used to be a nice wood finish, um, and now it's, like, all dark wood, and, it, and it's, it's too dark in the restaurant. I don't like the way it looks. And uh, the other thing is... The bathrooms and the salad bar are are on the complete opposite side of the restaurant from where everyone's seated. It's not like that either. This is more like what it used to look like. I couldn't find an exact picture of what the interior used to like, look like, but this gives you an idea. It was more wooden. Uh, the salad bar and the bathrooms are right near where everyone was seated. You still had pretty good views because, I mean, there's windows all around the restaurant. You can still see the water. Uh, so at the end of the day, I understand what the owners of the restaurant were trying to do. They wanted to make it so the customers could take better advantage of those big glass windows at the back of the restaurant and be seated more in that area. I mean, that used to be the lounge and bar area of the restaurant. Now it's the main dining area. But the problem is the layout and the way they changed the colors uh, within the re interior of the restaurant, I think it was, it was a bad move. So what would have been like a four and a half star rating on environment, I'm now going to knock down to like three and a half. Uh, I really liked the way the restaurant looked in the beginning uh, when it was first in Annapolis. The, the recent remodeling, I'm not a fan of. Okay, so let's get into showing you some of the food. This is the crab avocado mango stack. It's an appetizer there. It's pretty good. Um, I definitely recommend trying it. Um, so that's one of the appetizers. Uh, this one is the calamari. So it comes with a dipping sauce. That's a pretty good one, too. Um, I don't think these are amazing appetizers, but they're, you know, definitely decent and worth trying. Um, and right here we have a chopped spinach salad. You can see there's... Uh, you know, bacon and egg and onion in that. Um, you can, of course, use the salad bar, which I'd prefer, but they do have their own salads as well. And here is the prime rib. Uh, this restaurant makes pretty good steaks in addition to seafood, so if you want to go the steak route, no problem there at all. You can definitely go that route and order some red meat. Uh, this is the crab cakes. comes in a sauce. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's a good one. Uh, I definitely recommend getting the crab cakes. Uh, at this restaurant, and right here we have the Oysters Rockefeller, another pretty good selection. Um, there's some other dishes I'd prefer, like the crab cakes or one of their special fish uh, recipes I think are, are better. Um, so this is uh, a picture of salmon with some crab topping and some vegetables and some rice. Uh, so again, th this place is really good for fish of all things. Uh, and this is their Chilean sea bass. Um, so they do a great job with fish at this restaurant. If you want to go red meat, that's a good option too. Uh, the appetizers are pretty good. And they also do an amazing brunch. This right here is a picture of the Eggs Benedict with uh, beef tenderloin. Uh, you can see there's some fruit and some uh, potatoes on the plate as well. They do a really good brunch at Chart House. So, and this is a picture of the original chart house in Aspen, Colorado. I'm just going to go ahead and end it on this image. Um, you know, chart house is a chain restaurant. If you want to check out all their locations, you can go to the website that I have in the description and it'll give you all the locations. But again, this is reviewing the Annapolis restaurant. So we already talked about environment, three and a half stars there. 
As, in terms of overall, looking at the food quality of this restaurant, I would actually go as high as like four and a half stars. I mean, this is really good food at this place. And they're versatile. I mean, they can they can make you a good steak. They can make you a good uh, fish or other seafood dish. The one complaint I do have is the portions are small given what you're paying. Um, you know, this is a gourmet restaurant. The portions are kind of small. And in terms of value of the restaurant, I mean, if you look at the on if you look at the menu, which again you can find on the website, the entrees, they're gonna run you at a minimum, a minimum of twenty dollars and at a maximum over forty two dollars. So it's a pretty wide range there. That's kind of what you're gonna can expect to pay for your entree. Uh, the appetizers are around, you know, a ten to fifteen bucks. You know, soups and salads are relatively expensive, too. Again, I recommend getting the salad bar if you go here, because then you get to just build your own salad. You can go up and get as many refills as you want. That's better than just getting one of their pre-made salads. Uh, definitely recommend doing that. The other thing with this restaurant salad bar is they do discount the price if you order the salad bar with an entree. If you do that, that also helps make up for the fact that your entree is relatively small. You know, you get unlimited refills on your salad bar. So definitely the way you want to go if you go to this restaurant, I'd recommend salad bar plus entree. Make sure you get filled up uh, and get all the food you want. Uh, this place makes pretty good desserts too. Um, you know, they have a mud pie that is pretty big and can be shared among several people. They have some other good desserts, good drinks. I mean, they got a full service bar at this place. So if you want to sit at the bar and have your meal, not a bad idea either. Um, good place to go get drinks as well. So, um, again, overall environment, three and a half stars, uh, food, four and a half, food quality, four and a half stars and value. I'm going to go, I guess three stars. Uh, because I mean, it is good food, but you're paying quite a bit for it. So overall, I'm going to give this restaurant a rating of four stars. Uh, it is a great restaurant in Maryland. If you want to go the gourmet route, but not like pay hundreds of dollars for your meal. Um, this is a good restaurant to select, you know, pretty good environment outside, you know, being on the water and it's definitely, a place that's going to serve you a good meal. I don't think you have to be worried about getting something you're not going to like here. Most of the things I've had at this restaurant, I have enjoyed. Uh, there's some I like better than others, but hey, I mean, everyone has their own preference. So anyways, thanks for uh, watching this restaurant review and make sure to subscribe to LipTude channel.